Greetings everyone, uh, today I'm having some free time to um, uh, introduce my new book. Uh, this is my first book and I hope that, uh, um, you know, this, uh, take a closer look at this. Uh, some people said it's very strong, you know, this cover, you know, this quite shocking, something like that. So um, I hope it's not my, you know, this uh, last book. Um, I would like to in this um, write another book. Maybe the next book will be about the God Thor, because uh, recently I noticed that I started to mix Thor with the Odin. I mean, um, this book is uh, dedicated to a God Odin, and for an English-speaking audience, for my English-speaking audience. This is not, you know, this something, you know, this new or special because everything that that I spoke uh, in my previous videos, I put it here. Uh, when I started, you know, this writing a book, I'm like, you know, this what I'm going to write. And um, luckily, I had my, you know, these videos. I, I had my this. Uh, um, it's like a diary. So you open your last video and you get the ideas and you write the book um, so um, this this is not just maybe this is not very special for an English speaking audience because um, uh, I made video about this stuff in you know this in the previous uh, this can be very uh, interesting for a Mongolian because uh, in my previous videos I did not mention God Odin because simply I kept him uh, secret in the Mongolian language, so um, every Odin video is in the English. So, mm, like I said, um, I started to you know this mess with the mix uh, Thor with the Odin, like you know this this Odin should have sheep, like you know this uh, some say uh, two goats, you know this uh, if you Thor has a two goats, but um, it seems to be, uh, it's not a goat, but two rams or two arms. And with this, you know, this uh, rams, uh, he is creating his stuff. So God of, you know, this art and blacksmith and craftsmanship is different from a God of um, good luck. Um, of course, if, you're, uh, if you have, you know, these hand skills, uh, you're lucky. Uh, but it, it seems, I mean, you know, this... You know, like uh, mixing, you know, this talking about the sheep and stuff. Before I mix it too much, I needed to stop and create my book. I wanted to uh, make this read, uh, a book uh, when I uh, when I reach, you know, this 33 and 30, 33 age is a special age because it's um, related with the supreme god Hormuzda, Hermongoya. But it seems things does not go according to a plan, and I had to, you know, this write for a whole year, and editing took a lot of, you know, this time. So I finished it in when I reached 34. So um, things did not went according to a plan. So uh, let me explain what the book is all about. Book is about Mongolian identity. Uh, this book is going to make a Mongolian a Mongolian, something like that. <laughs> something like that. If you have a small amount of units, you know, maybe your mother is a Mongolian and stuff, and uh, you want to know what kind of you know the spirit you you have inside you and what kind of language and you know this we use to explain that all this stuff. Is here, so uh, let me you know this um, uh, continue beach about uh, Mr. Buddha. Uh, in a page 63, there is this a uh, small you know this quote uh, from Buddha. Buddha had a student called Ananda. So he is saying to this Ananda, Ananda, in whatever religion women are ordained, uh, that religion will not last long. As families that have more women than men are easily destroyed by the robbers and uh, um, 
as as you know this as a plen uh, plentiful uh, uh, rice field once infested by rice swarms will not uh, long remain as uh, sur uh, surgeons field um, sugar uh, sugar cane oh, sorry sugar cane field invaded by the uh, red rust uh, it will not uh, you know this uh, long remain even so the true dharma will not last long bodha so if you um, take advices of a woman's or you know this uh, uh, if you follow some female religion this religion will not last long uh, maybe it is uh, it may have you know this some water in it you know this it can hold some water but um, um, you know the Bodhas ha Bodhas cup has a hole in the in his you know, this cup, so he cannot hold the, you know this water. Um, I had you know do something against it. Um, what you know this? Uh, what can motivate me? You know this writing this book, mm, a woman. Um, uh, this is a special woman, uh, the mother of. Chinggis Khan, she uh, bitch it or she uh, she was angry about her son killing his elder brother. So she angrily told that human being is not a monster that you know this uh, you know this swallows uh, things. Human being is not a, a lion that uh, seeks fighting and quarrel. Human being is not a tiger that consumes everything, etc., etc. So, if you have this proud uh, um, idea that you are a human being, you're if you are not a monster or something like that, and you must uh, fight the evil inside you, uh, this word is quite serious. I mean. That's why I'm, you know, this, when I look at, you know, this Buddhist uh, prayer flag, you know, this wind horse flag, and when I see, a, a, you know, this um, dragon as a monster, when I see a lion, and when I see a, a tiger, um, I immediately think that this cannot be uh, the interpretation of my soul. So, um, according to, you know, this Mongolian, you know, this language, um, everything should be according to a language. Why? Because um, the spirits, the gods, lives inside us. So we express our inner content using the language. So language is quite important. Um, for example, God is Burhan. I told you that it was a dark lord, something like that. But it it also can be you know this in if you go to in Middle East East or towards the Turkey something like that it can turn into Furkan Furkan so Bor and Fur is basically the same thing and you know in English word Fur means hair so Fur Furer or Führer sorry uh, or this Fur Lord is like um, hair Lord. Something like that. We we say uh, the curly hair is as a bor borjiger borjiger. So there has to be something to do with the God being a lord of hair. <laughs> something like that. So um, there are a lot of you know this mysterious stuff about the language. Uh, you you know this use all kinds of you know this foreign stuff. For example, you know this um, this Icelandic word. Tengir, the connection, the link, something like that. So imagine something is connecting two people. What is connecting these two people? Um, the Icelandic dude is saying, you know, there must be some link, there must be some Tengir. Um, tengir is a sky, something like that, but a Tengir is also, it also can be um, trust, faith, something like that. So if you have a faith in this person, your link or your tinger is strong. But uh, you ha if you lost the faith, the link can be broken, something like that. So um, 
in my opinion, there has to be lots of, you know, this um, spiritual study. This spiritual study, <laughs> in my opinion, is a uh, little bit, you know, this strange compared to, you know, this real academic study. So, um, according to my spiritual study, you describe a human a spirit like this. I, I uh, told you that in my previous video, the swastika symbolizes the the nine wishes of a human being. So, human being is not a monster. Human being actually wishes for a good stuff. For example, happiness. Everyone wants happiness. Everyone wants love, respect. Everyone wants money. Everyone wants health. And everyone wants the knowledge, etc. etc. All this things um how to say are good wishes so wishes uh, are good stuff and since um the main wish is a happiness the wish and desire equals to a happiness something like that so according to a both term uh, this wish and desire is not a happiness but it's the road towards the suffering something like that so um it depends on you how you how to say travel to this this you know this this to these wishes. So you have wishes and one can say that these wishes I have a picture like this. Can you see the human being? So there is a wish for a wisdom here, wish for a happiness here, wish for a health is here. And wish for money is here, and wish for a love is here because your heart is here, and uh, this is basically a swastika is basically the human being, and you have the um, eight horses of good fortune. Uh, these are um, you know this Hirmungulya, uh, the god of good luck, the Odin Han, has a uh, eight horses of uh, good fortune but in the west um, the Odin has a, um, a horse with the eight legs so there's a little bit difference between how you imagine things uh, in the west things are so fantastic uh, here things are quite realistic something like that so when I dig you know into a dictionary etc etc I, I can find, you know, this, their names, you know, like Angot Himur, Sult Himur, Ulti Himur, Himur Suche, Himur Tsogzolpo, etc. etc. So there's eight uh, special Himuris or the wind horses, something like that. Uh, uh, the one with, uh, you know, this um, horse of good luck is the Odin. So good luck here in Mongolia always been about the power, strength. So the four creatures it symbolizes uh, strength, and uh, these four are in a friendly position. Um, man friends with his dog, and friends with his horse, and friends with his you know this eagle or falcon, something like that. So the image of this God became more and more clear for me. So that's why, you know, this um, I wrote a book and I wasn't, you know, this satisfied with the with the printing company because um, they forgot to crop this uh, area and I I'm have ended up having this square, you know, this uh, lacquer in the middle. And some of the paint, you know, these colored pictures are sometimes, you know, this having a problem with the color and stuff. So it's, a, it's like a, it's a, it's Mongolia and it, uh, things are not perfect here. So um, everything on, you know, this internet, all this, my videos is somewhat, you know, this um, unreal, you know, this, um, I spoke thing and uh, it can be you know this forgotten but if I you know this um, write uh, something and you know this put it like in, like um, like a book uh, 
um, it may uh, last longer I hope and it may be uh, something that is made real I mean uh, all these YouTube talks are not real it's, you know this it's not you know this producing anything you know this good so in order to sell my book I even you know this um, purchased you know this taxpayer you know this um, uh, notebook diary something like that so um, it is uh, you know, I work in a company I, I, I'm like a salary man there was no need for me to produce a goods and give to uh, some shops and stuff so um, I'm playing according to a uh, law I mean rules and I'm hoping uh, to sell some because father is being somewhat you know dis disappointed about my you know this um, decisions in life and you know these things that I'm being interested well uh, that's uh, that's all you know this pretty much for today and um, thanks for watching